Welcome to our 8th Mathematica tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how we can import large sets of delimited data, as well as how we can perform linear regression using the linear model fit function, and nonlinear regression using the nonlinear model fit function. To import data, we can use the import function. So I'll store this in data, and then we'll import. The easiest way is to keep the file that you want to import in your desktop. If the file is in the desktop, we can just type desktop slash the file name and file type. So let's go ahead and do that. Desktop and my file was random.txt. Alternatively, once you type the quotation mark, Mathematica prompts you to browse for the file. So you could use that to look for your file as well. And the file contains data points. It's always a good idea to suppress our data because it's not really an output that we're looking for and large sets of data could take up unwanted space in the window if not suppressed. Shift enter. The first thing we'll look at is setting up a linear regression using the linear model fit function. The linear model fit function is good for approximating data sets that seem to have a linear relationship. The syntax for the linear model fit function is linear model fit the data, expression, and variable. So if we wanted to perform a linear regression on the data we have, we would store it into model and linear model fit our data. Since we want just a regular linear function, our expression is just x and our variable is x. Shift enter. The output we get is a fitted model, which contains all sorts of data, including the equation of the best fit line, the r squared value, and the coefficients. We can extract the equation using square brackets. We'll store that into y, and for model, we will grab the best fit. Shift enter. And now we have a usable expression inside of y. We can evaluate this using rules. So evaluate y when x is 0 0.00001 and shift enter. And there's our approximation. I'll scroll down to give us a little bit more space. We can also obtain the r squared value using square brackets. So r2 from model grab the r squared, shift enter, and our r squared is much closer to 0 than it is to 1, meaning we don't have a very good approximation at all. So to see how our approximation looks like, we can go ahead and plot y and x. For the x min, we'll use the min function, and from data, Grab all the rows and the first column. And for the max, check inside of data all the rows and the first column. And that's because the first column contains all of our x values. Then we'll go ahead and use the epilogue function so we can see our data points. Use a point size of medium. and grab our points from data. And finally, the axis origin will set to zero, zero. Now shift enter. And as we can see, a linear model definitely does not work for this data. In cases where we want to approximate data sets that are either nonlinear or can't be linearized, we can perform a nonlinear regression instead to find a better approximation for the data. 
So we'll go ahead and move on to the nonlinear model fit. The inputs for the nonlinear model fit function are very similar to the linear model fit function. In order to perform nonlinear regression, we need to have an idea of what type of function can model the behavior of our data set. And once we have such a function, the nonlinear model fit function finds the coefficients for us and then stores all sorts of data in a fitted model, such as the best fit equation, the parameters, and the R-squared value. The syntax for nonlinear model fit is nonlinear model fit. The data, the expression that we want to use to approximate our data, and then our parameters along with their initial guesses. Then our variable and the max number of iterations. So let's say that we're told that our data can be approximated with the expression f equals a1 times 1 minus e to the negative a2x. And we have the initial guesses pair 0 equal to a1 initial guess 15 and a2 initial guess 100. Shift enter. Now where x is the independent variable and the rest are parameters, we can get a nonlinear regression using the nonlinear model fit. So nonlinear model fit, the data, our expression f, our parameters and their initial guesses, variable x, and we'll set our max iterations to 1000. And we'll store all of this into model. Shift enter. And there it is. We can obtain our equation and r squared values using square brackets as well. So for the equation, y1 takes the best fit from model. Our r squared. R2 takes from model the R squared value. And we can even find our parameters. So from model, grab the best fit parameters. Shift enter, and there we have our expression, our r squared value, which is very close to 1, and the values of our parameters a1 and a2. The r squared tells us we have a very good approximation of our data, so let's take a look at it by plotting once again. So plot y1, x, the minimum of data, all rows, first column, and the max of data, all rows, first column, and the epilogue once again with a point size of medium. Grabbing the points from data and an axis origin of 0, 0. Shift enter. And as we can see, our model fits very close to our data points. So we just finished looking at how to import large delimited data sets and performing linear as well as nonlinear regressions on those data sets. That's it for this tutorial. As always, good luck with your labs.